Good morning, this is Kelloland On The Go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Court documents lay out what happened in the minutes before a Sioux Falls woman was strangled in her home. 55-year-old Jimmy Ledbetter is in the Minnehaha County Jail this morning, charged with murdering a woman on Monday night. One of the victim's children found her in her bed and called for help. According to court documents, surveillance video in the area helped link Ledbetter to the crime. He could be seen entering the home around 3.30 Monday afternoon. Two hours later, two screams can be heard on neighborhood surveillance cameras. Just before six, Ledbetter can be seen leaving the home. The victim's son pulled into the driveway just a few minutes later. Meanwhile, Sioux Falls police have released details in a different homicide case. A 32-year-old man faces a murder charge following an assault that happened in Sioux Falls back in September. Police say Robin Swallow got into a fight on the east side of town. Swallow allegedly punched and kicked 64-year-old Michael Colvin, leaving him with life-threatening injuries. Colvin was in the hospital for several weeks and recently died from his injuries. Swallow is scheduled to be arraigned in court next week. The owner of a Sioux Falls daycare is charged with child abuse. Police began an investigation at Wildflower Academy last week. 44-year-old Amitria Christian was booked into the Minnehaha County Jail Wednesday night and later was released on bond. Court documents say police reviewed a video of her reportedly hitting an 11-year-old boy at the center. As he tries to run away, Christian grabs him and pulls him back by the hair. When detectives confronted Christian about the video, she said it was a fake. DSS suspended Wildflower Academy's license last week. Now let's get a check on our weather with meteorologist Scott Munt. Scott? All right, in weather this morning, we're following maybe a light wintry mix that's trying to fall in parts of north central, northeastern South Dakota for the morning. Temperatures today will still be above average. We'll get these numbers through the 50s to near 60 degrees. Also watching the chance for rain as we go through this coming weekend. And Brian will have more details on that coming up. Thank you, Scott. The search is on to find a new location for the Sioux Falls Storm to play. Wednesday, it was announced the indoor football team would take the season off due to contract negotiations with the Premier Center that didn't renew their lease with a team to play there. You know, we look forward to football games. You know, it was another event that we could go to in the city. We're not necessarily concert goers, you know, and so we're considered a sports hub here. And to take a team that's been here for 24 years and tell them, hey, sorry, you know, you don't meet our bottom line. I mean, it, it's, it's a tough pill to swallow. Tryon says there's one option the team is exploring for a new venue, but wouldn't disclose what that option is. Sanford Health celebrated Halloween with their annual costumes for babies in the NICU. This year, the costumes were made by students at Lincoln High School in Sioux Falls. Ranging from McDonald's French fries and ketchup to Buzz Lightyear, there were a lot of characters. It's just part of us, um, family-centered care, and just bringing that whole family together and um, making those memories for them um, so that they can um, cherish that later on, um, be able to look back at that and, and, and remember all those times, even though it is you know, a difficult time in the NICU. About 45 costumes were created by the students in fashion class. To look more, uh, look at more of this year's costumes, you can go to this story here on Kelloland.com. From ghosts to princesses, kids wear all kinds of costumes for Halloween. One Sioux Falls boy decided to dress up as a weatherman, but it's more than just a costume. Six-year-old London Beckman wants to forecast the weather someday. He even has a collection of monitors at home similar to the Kelloland Storm Center. Why do you like weather? Because I want to teach people stuff, uh, what happening. In addition to a suit, London's Halloween costume also included a microphone and a seven-day outlook. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with current meteorologist Brian Karsten. Brian? <laughs> uh, yeah, what a nice story. I love that. All right, well, here is the weather as we go through today. A few 50s out there, a little bit warmer than yesterday as we come back into uh, temperatures. Yeah, a little bit above average. South winds will help us in Sioux Falls. Uh, don't forget, too, as Scott just mentioned, there is a little bit of moisture on radar. A lot of this is having a battle here. We've got a lot of dry air at the low levels, so we're not seeing all that reaching the ground. But certainly 30s uh, ahead of the warm front. 40s, 50s uh, coming in this afternoon. So this is a minor disturbance, but there it goes into the northeast. And then we'll see basically dry for.
for tonight and uh, chilly overnight lows. We'll expect a combo of 20s and 30s out there by daybreak. And then tomorrow, let's see how fast things begin to moisten up. We've got a surge of moisture. It's kind of a process coming up from the south. And uh, it is a possibility that we could see some initial uh, hits of light rain uh, on Saturday afternoon. I would say the vast majority of this is probably spent in saturating the air a little bit. But then as we get into Sunday and Monday, there are more patches of showers and embedded thunder on Sunday afternoon there. A lot of that is in the eastern half of Kettleland. So West River, folks, it looks like some scattered showers are possible, but we're kind of focused a little more in the east this time around. And it looks like temperatures will be holding in the upper 40s and low 50s as uh, we begin the new week, at least getting uh, closer to Election Day. 62, that's our high today in Mitchell. 56 in Rapid City with a northwest wind there. 15 to 25. Low tonight, 30. Brookings, 28 in Watertown. 25 in Aberdeen. And then for tomorrow, uh, upper 50s, low 60s with that increasing moisture coming our way from the south. Sioux Falls, 80% chance of rain on Sunday and a 70% chance Monday. Tuesday looks like the majority of that uh, precipitation will slide to our south. We'll continue to watch that for Election Day. But overall, temperatures are about where they should be for this time of the year. Aberdeen also getting these uh, chances of showers. We got this one hit this morning. Another 20% chance on Saturday. Sunday looks like the best chance of getting that precipitation to fall. And also for Pier in Central South Dakota, Sunday is a 70% chance of rain, followed by a 20% chance on Monday. It will get a little cooler, but nothing drastic. We think high still in the 50s as we get into Monday and Tuesday in Rapid City, where the rain chance is more limited at about 20%. Check out more details about that online at Kevoland.com.